hi everyone nice to meet you in the next video about medical terms so in this video i will try to cover maximum of surgical procedures and their medical terms because in our cpt book we have only limited number of procedure names but i have tried to cover most of the procedures so let us move into the presentation so to start with we will again see about the suffixes which we use for surgical procedures suffixes means words that will be added to the end of the word there will be a root word and to that we will add something else so those are called as suffixes so now under the suffixes the first term is ectomy ectomy will be used for surgical removal it can be also called as excision ectomy excision both are same it's surgical removal for example appendectomy it means removal of appendix removal of appendix then the next term is ortomy 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 means making an opening or a cut and it can be also called as incision it can also be called as incision so for example craniotomy craniotomy that means making an opening in the cranium that is the skull that is the skull next procedure is ostomy actually ostomy will be used for two kinds of procedures it's something like making a permanent opening or sometimes we will connect two organs together for example i say jejunostomy that means i'm going to make a permanent opening in the jejunum jejunum is the second part of the small intestine but if i say that i'm going to do uh, ileo jejunostomy that means i'm going to connect the ileum with the jejunum so ostomy will be used for two purposes then you have plasty plasty means repair and reconstruction repair and reconstruction and the example for plasty will be cranioplasty cranioplasty then you have raphi raphi means suturing and doing a repair so hysteroraphy is a suturing and repair of the uterus is an example for raphi next you have tripsy tripsy means crushing and destructing something usually it will be used to to destruct stones stones that are present in the urinary system kidney stones that will be removed with the help of lithotripsy procedures then you have lysis lysis means destruction or you are going to cut and relieve something so enterolysis that means you are going to destruct the small intestine or you are going to cut and relieve the small intestine that is enterolysis then you have pexy pexy means fixation fixation we are going to fix something archaeopexy archaeopexy is artificially fixing testicles in men then you have centesis centesis means making a puncture and removing fluid from the body it can be from any part of the body you can put a puncture with the help of needle and we are going to remove the fluid that is centesis for example amniocentesis amniocentesis that means you are going to remove amniotic fluid that is surrounding a baby in the uterus so we have almost covered all the suffixes now we will see about other procedures litholapaxy litholapaxy means breaking urinary stones and removing them by catheter removing them by catheter then laparotomy laparotomy means making a cut or an incision in the abdomen laparoscopy laparoscopy is a surgery done through small holes and the surgery will be done with the help of fiber optic camera so through small holes they will insert camera and also they will insert instruments and do the surgery then you have aspiration aspiration means removing some fluid from inside the body with the help of a needle just by sucking it out that is aspiration marsupialization it is creating a pouch that means what we will do is whenever there is a cystic collection a cyst cyst means it's a fluid filled cavity there is a cyst i'm going to uh, bring out the collection from the cyst but sometimes what we do is we don't want to remove the cyst we just make an opening in the mouth of the cyst and we will drain the liquid inside it and we will just keep it open so that the fluid will drain if it is like further accumulated 
that is marsupialization creation of a pouch then you have ablation fulguration or cautery all these are destruction you are going to destruct some organ that is ablation fulguration and cautery then you have ind this is a very simple and common procedure this will be done for infectious conditions to remove the collection so it is done to remove some fluid collection and it is referred to as incision and drainage that means making a cut and bringing out the fluid then you have anastomosis that means connecting two body parts we are going to connect two body parts that is called anastomosis decompression that means relieving the pressure inside again there is some a uh, fluid collection and due to that there is some pressure inside we are going to remove the fluid and bring out the fluid with the help of that we are relieving the pressure inside that is decompression then curettage curettage is scraping and removing scraping and removing so this will be done usually for uh, dnc procedures in females dilation and curettage that means expanding the opening of the uterus and removing the contents from the uterus then debridement cleaning procedure you are going to clean something that is debridement lavage that means washing out washing out irrigation by flushing some liquid or medicine as some water that is irrigation flushing or washing enucleation removing something as a whole from the body enucleation for example i am going to remove a cyst but i am going to remove it as a whole i am not going to break it i am going to remove it as a whole that is enucleation evisceration is removing some internal organs sometimes they will use this term for removing the eye and its contents evisceration excentration that means removal of contents from the body cavity for example you could have read this procedure pelvic excentration that means removing all the organs in the pelvis it will be usually done for cancers amputation amputation is cutting and removing a body part for example i am going to cut a finger or hand or leg that is amputation endoscopy is visualization of internal organs visualization of internal organs then procedures related to fractures reduction or manipulation both these procedures are done to rearrange the bones with hands after some displaced fracture displaced fracture means after the fracture the bones have slightly moved away from their uh, place so we are going to put it back that is reduction or manipulation and whenever they use the term open procedures it is referring to a surgical procedure they are doing something with the surgery then fixation fixation will be used to uh, like fix bones after fracture so when there is a big fracture and we want to put those bones back in the place and it's like uh, not having any proper support they will use some um, uh, bolts screws and uh, iron rods and all so that will be used to fix the bones after fracture then orif or orif that is open reduction and internal fixation open reduction that means they are going to do a surgical procedure reduce the bone that means putting it back in its place and doing internal fixation that means using some screws and place they are fixing the bone decompression is relieving pressure decompression is relieving pressure that means there is some pressure inside we are going to relieve it with the help of removing the fluid that is decompression next is biopsy biopsy is a diagnostic procedure it is done to find out some problem at the cell level so what they do there they take a small piece of tissue and put it under the microscope to find out if there is any abnormality abnormality so that is biopsy next you have fna fna is also a type of biopsy which is called as fine needle aspiration biopsy fine needle aspiration biopsy in this what they do is with the help of a fine needle they take out only the cells to be biopsied but when they do a core biopsy there is another procedure called core biopsy core biopsy means they will take tissue from the core of the tissue that means from the center of something for example there is a cancer i am going to pick out the core of the tissue tissue means there will be a group of cells 
that is core biopsy core biopsy so there is a difference between fine needle aspiration biopsy and core needle biopsy fine needle aspiration biopsy will help us to check only the cells it is also called a cytology cytology that means study of cells but core biopsy we will be taking the core of the tissue tissue means there will be a group of cells so this procedure is used for doing a histopathology that means studying the tissues to find out what is the problem then catheterization means inserting a catheter or putting a catheter what is catheter catheter is nothing but a small tube or a wire like thing that is inserted inside the blood vessels or inserted inside the urinary system or inserted inside the digestive system to do some procedure that is catheter therapeutic procedures that means treatment procedures which are done to treat the problem diagnostic procedures procedures which are done to find out the disease for example x-rays and scans and lab tests then simple procedures they use this word simple procedure in many procedures so whenever a procedure is done on a superficial structure and if it is less time consuming then the procedure will be called as a simple procedure and complicated procedures that means the procedure is done in a deep structure and it is taking more time and it is close to some major structures that means the doctor is spending more time while doing the procedure so these are the most of the medical terms which we use in our cpt book i have tried to cover most of them so if anything i would have missed you can just comment and ask me so whenever i see that i will reply that to you thank you